Dominique, do you believe this was the right move for the Cardinals to make? No. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I'm, I don't think I'm alone. It's not a novel idea. I think that it's, it's hard to find reasons why you would hire Cliff Kingsbury. And it seems like the only reason is, like, at one point he may have given a high five to Sean McVay. Is this a good move or bad move? Terrible move. I could see if he got fired from Texas Tech and some other college team comes along and hires him. I can see him getting fired from Texas, Texas Tech and one of these NFL teams says, man, that guy can really coach offense. Hire man as a coordinator. But how in the hell you get fired from Texas Tech as the head coach mm -hmm. and become the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals? You got dismissed from Texas Tech. You have a winning racket. I'm just sitting there going like this. Okay, you worked with Manziel and you worked with Baker Mayfield and, and you worked with Patrick Mahomes or whatever, but when you were a head coach, what did you do? A few moments later. One year after Cliff Kingsbury signed a big-time multi-year extension, he has been fired by owner Michael Bidwell. I think it's safe to say that the Arizona Cardinals had a very busy Black Monday. The Cardinals fired Cliff Kingsbury after four seasons and just months after signing him to an extension through 2027. The Cardinals had a losing record under Cliff and only made the playoffs once just wasn't working. That wasn't the only change in Arizona, though. General Manager Steve Keim decided to step away from his position to focus on his health. Keim joined Arizona in 1999 as a college scout and was promoted to GM in 2013. Owner Michael Bidwill has a very big offseason ahead, now having to replace his GM and head coach. The Steve Keim departure is a bit of a shock, but for a lot of people, the firing of Cliff Kingsbury was expected. Cliff Kingsbury played quarterback at Texas Tech. He had a very good college career. Kingsbury had 12,400 yards and 95 touchdowns to 40 interceptions in 43 games. He finished his career with 39 school records, 13 Big 12 records, and 7 FBS records. Kingsbury was all Big 12 all three years he was the full-time starter. He played under Spike Dykes for the first season of his time at Texas Tech. Dykes coached the Red Raiders for 14 years, and actually his son Sonny Dykes is the head coach at TCU now. Dykes retired in 1999, and Texas Tech hired Mike Leach. Leach's high-scoring offensive scheme turned Cliff into an NFL prospect. The New England Patriots selected Cliff Kingsbury in the sixth round of the 2003 NFL Draft. He never ended up throwing a pass for New England, and he spent his rookie season on injured reserve and was waived, but he did get a Super Bowl ring first. He bounced around a couple practice squads and eventually did make his NFL debut and completed the only pass of his career in 2005 with the Jets. He ended up playing in NFL Europe in 2006 before he signed with the Bills and was cut before the regular season. Kingsbury tried to find a spot in in the Canadian Football League, but he never got past a backup role. Cliff Kingsbury got his start in coaching in 2008 at Houston. He received recognition for the success of the Cougars offense that had Case Keenum back in 2009. Kingsbury worked his way up to the co-offensive coordinator before he jumped to Texas A&M to be their offensive coordinator following Kevin Sumlin from Houston to Texas A&M. The Aggies offense was dominant and Johnny Manziel ended up winning the Heisman Trophy. Cliff Kingsbury was then hired by Texas Tech to be its head coach after one season as the OC at Texas A&M. Kingsbury was the head coach at Texas Tech for six years. The Red Raiders' best season came in his first year. Texas Tech went 8-5 and, and won the Holiday Bowl. The Red Raiders only had one more winning season under Cliff and didn't win another bowl game. Kingsbury was just 35-40, and 40, and he kind of disappointed, but he was credited with the development of Patrick Mahomes. He did also coach Baker Mayfield and Davis Webb. Texas Tech didn't retain Cliff for the 2019 season, and he was hired by USC as their new OC, but he resigned after one month. Kingsbury interviewed with the Jets, but ended up taking the head coaching job for the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona struggled in his first season and finished 5-10-1. The Cardinals actually looked good early on in 2020 and were 6-3 and, and in good position to make the postseason, but they ended up collapsing. The Cardinals went 2-5 to close out the season and finished 8-8. Eight and eight. 2021 was by far the Cardinals' best year under Cliff Kingsbury. It was his only season with a winning record but Arizona still did collapse. The Cardinals were 10-2 and, and ended up losing the NFC West, finishing 11-6, and, and lost to the Rams in the wildcard round. Cliff went on to sign a six-year extension in the offseason. Arizona had high expectations for 2022, but finished 4-13, and, and Kingsbury was fired right after the season. The Arizona Cardinals are going to have a big offseason of changes, and one of those is likely going to be the departure of DeAndre Hopkins. DeHop is just a beast. 
He's had over a thousand yards in six of his 10 years in the league. He did only play in nine games this past season due to his suspension for PEDs, but he still recorded over 700 yards. A new regime is coming in, and it appears that his time in Arizona is likely over. Hopkins is a $30.8 million cap hit in 2023, but it'll only be $8.2 million after the Cardinals eat the $22.6 million dead cap. He does have a no-trade clause, so Hopkins has to sign off on the trade, but there are definitely some teams that make a lot of sense. The Bears have so much money that they don't know what to do with, and Justin Fields could definitely use a number one. The Ravens, Packers, and Patriots all also make some sense. The Browns may make a run at Hopkins too. You can't deny the connection between Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins. Whatever ends up happening, it's hard to see Hopkins in Arizona next season. Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury both came to Arizona in 2019. The Cardinals hired Cliff and selected Kyler first overall at the draft. And honestly, he hasn't performed as expected, but he has shown flashes. The best year of his career came in 2020 when he passed for 4,000 yards, 26 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. Arizona signed him to a five-year, $230.5 million extension in the offseason, and Murray followed it up with a very disappointing season. He tore his ACL in week 14 and may not be ready for the start of the 2023 season. That presents a very hard situation for a new head coach being without its franchise quarterback. Before Kyler got hurt, he was struggling anyways. He passed for 2,400 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. All eyes are now on him in Arizona. Michael Bidwell said that Kyler Murray will have input on the Cardinals' next head coach. Arizona has tied up a lot of money in Kyler, and they need him to succeed and Cliff Kingsbury didn't help that. To be completely honest with you guys, I never truly believed in Cliff Kingsbury as a head coach. He never really had a lot of success in a head coaching role in college. Texas Tech severely underperformed under Kingsbury, and the Cardinals did the same. Sean McVay kind of came out of nowhere at a young age and had a lot of success, and teams were trying to replicate that by hiring someone that coached with McVay or was some young offensive guru. That's exactly what Cliff Kingsbury was. Now, you can't take away the success success that his quarterbacks had. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league, Baker Mayfield was a first overall pick, Case Keenum is a solid backup, and Davis Webb is still hanging around in the NFL. His quarterbacks were good, but his teams as a whole weren't. That's one big reason why I think Cliff is going to be a good offensive coordinator in the league. I don't think he's going to have a hard time finding another job. There are seven offensive coordinator openings right now. The Rams, Patriots, Titans, Commanders, Jets, Colts, and the Cardinals. Which might come as a shock, but I don't think he's getting the Cardinals job. New England kind of feels like a home run spot for Cliff. He was drafted by the Patriots, and the good news for him, the bar is pretty low for an offensive coordinator. The Patriots had Matt Patricia calling plays this last season. I think it's safe to say that didn't really work out. The roster isn't great, but Josh McDaniels was at least able to take a similar team to the playoffs before he left for Las Vegas. I think Cliff Kingsbury would be a perfect fit in New England, but regardless of where he goes, I think he'll succeed as an offensive coordinator. I think Cliff Kingsbury is one of those guys that's better as a coordinator than a head coach. The Cardinals did what they had to do, and moving on from Kingsbury was the correct decision.